Hey you, yeah, you sitting there feeling stuck in your career. What if I told you that in just 15 minutes, I could give you the exact roadmap to break free, to go from feeling trapped to living your dream life with a remote job? Well, stick around because I'm about to spill the tea from how I went from a nine to five, well, more like a nine to nine job that I hated to working remote, being able to travel the world and loving my life and how you can do it too. And today we're gonna be diving deep into the concept that changed my life and I call it career elasticity. Now you might be thinking, Shane, what the heck is that? Well, imagine your career is like a rubber band. And when you stretch a rubber band, what happens? It adapts, it changes shape. And when you release it, bam, it snaps back often stronger than before. And that's exactly what we're going to do with your career. Let me break it down for you. Stretching is all about pushing your boundaries, learning new skills and taking on challenges. Just like me when I jumped from pharmacy to working remote. Next, you adapt. And as you stretch, you adapt to new situations. You can become more flexible, more resilient, and it's kind of like career yoga, but without the awkward poses. And then you snap back. And this is the magic part. When you stretched and adapted, you snap back into a new improved career position. You're stronger, you're more fulfilled, and often you have a a bigger paycheck. Now, why is career elasticity so crucial? Because the job market is changing fast. Seriously though, according to recent studies, 50% of all employees will need reskilling by 2025. Now this study was done a few years ago and the goalposts have moved a little bit, but if your career isn't elastic, you're going to get left behind. But here's the good news. You're already more elastic than you think. Remember learning to use a smartphone or figuring out how to work from home during the pandemic? Well, that's career elasticity. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Shane, I'm stuck in a soul-sucking nine to five, and I'm about as elastic as a brick. Now, I hear you. I've been there. I was 300K in debt working in a nine to five that I hated, and that was me feeling like a career brick. But guess what? Even bricks can be elastic if you heat them up enough. And today, we're turning up the heat on your career. So how do we apply career elasticity in your life? That's exactly what we'll cover in this video. We're gonna be talking about recognizing when you need to stretch, techniques to increase your elasticity, and how to snap back into a career you love. And by the end of this video, you'll be more elastic than a gymnast leotard. But remember, career elasticity isn't just about changing jobs. It's a mindset a way of approaching your entire career. It's about being adaptable, resilient, and always ready for the next opportunity. So are you ready to stretch your career possibilities? Then let's dive in. Now, just before I give you all of this valuable advice, hit that like button right now. It helps the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Plus, I'll know to make more of this type of content. Now, the first thing you need to do is recognize the signs of being stuck. Let's start with a little self-reflection. Are you feeling like a hamster on a wheel, going through the motions day after day and never really getting anywhere? Maybe you're staring at the clock, willing it to move faster, or you're dreading Mondays like they're a root canal appointment. If this sounds familiar, congratulations, you're officially stuck. But here's the good news, recognizing it is the first step to fixing it. And speaking of fixing it, let me tell you about Roberto. He was stuck too, feeling unfulfilled after graduating with an economics degree in 2017. But then he discovered a career that was flexible and would help him break out of the nine to five grind and that is digital marketing. Now he took this guy named Seth's course and in just one month, Roberto completed the course and within weeks, he was applying for jobs. And now he's earning six figures in digital marketing. And as Roberto says, if you don't have the means to attend college, you can take Seth's digital marketing course and easily get clients or work at an agency. And if you're feeling stuck like Roberto was, maybe it's time for a change. Now, by the way, Seth does have a completely free digital marketing masterclass, which will tell you all about digital marketing, the best types of digital marketing careers and help you discover whether or not it's the right fit for you. And I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment below. You can check it out. Number two, I want you to embrace embrace the power of mindset. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, if I hear one more person talk about mindset, I'm gonna scream, but hear me out. Your mindset is like the operating system of your life. If it's outdated, nothing else works right. And when I was 300K in debt, I thought I was doomed. But then I realized something crucial. My situation wasn't my destination. It was just a pit stop on my journey to success. So how do we upgrade this mental operating system? Well, you wanna start by challenging your limiting beliefs. Every time you think I can't, ask yourself, why not? Every time you think I'm not good enough, say to yourself, I'm learning and growing. It's not about positive thinking. It's about realistic optimism. And trust me, being a realistic optimist is a game changer. Now, I want you to take action on this right now. I wanna hear from you. What type of limiting belief have you overcome in your career? What type of limiting beliefs do you have right now that are stopping you from getting to the next level? Go ahead and comment down below and there's a good chance I'll respond to your comment and also others will be able to respond to it as well so we can all see that we all have limiting beliefs. Step three, identify your passion and skills. All all right, it's time for some real talk. Finding your passion isn't about rainbows and unicorns. It's about brutal honesty with yourself. Ask yourself, what would you do even if you weren't paid for it? What topics make you lose track of time? 
For me, it was always about helping people, technology, and also browsing YouTube. So I would help lots of other people who wanted to get into careers or who wanted to get into pharmacy, and I would do it completely free. And I'd also spend tons of time browsing YouTube. But here's the kicker, passion alone won't pay the bills. You need to pair it with skills. So you also want to make a list of what skills that you're good at. And don't be modest, we're all friends here. What are the things that people told you over and over again in your life that you're really good at? Then third, you wanna focus on what the market actually needs. What is in demand out there? What are people actually willing to pay for? And then once you've listed down those three things, which by the way, you can pause the video right now and do that, I highly recommend it. You wanna make a circle like a Venn diagram and see what intersects in the middle because that is the sweet spot. That is your ticket to a fulfilling career. And as you put these skills together, you need to package it well to stand out. And because of that, I've created a free guide called Stand Out in the Digital Job Market, High Impact Resume Templates for Remote Job Professionals. And it's packed with templates and tips to help you land your dream remote job. And I'll put this link down in the description and the pinned comment below. As usual, it's completely free. I really just want to help you guys out. Next, you want to explore remote job opportunities. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Remote work is not just a trend, it's the future. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. When I discovered remote work, it was like finding a cheat code for life. Suddenly I could work from anywhere. But here's the million dollar question. How do you find these dream remote jobs? First, you wanna upgrade your LinkedIn profile because it's like a digital resume, but on steroids. Next, you wanna check out job boards like We Work Remotely as well as Flex Jobs. But don't just apply blindly. Tailor your application to each job. Show them why you're a perfect fit. And remember, your competition is global now. So bring your A game. Next, you wanna develop in-demand skills. In today's world, standing still is moving backwards. So what skills should you focus on? Well, here's a few good ones digital marketing, data analysis, programming, sales, bookkeeping, and IT related skills. These are all really hot right now. And don't just take my word for it. These are all skills you can actually get into without having to get a college degree. And the best part, you can actually learn most of these skills for free or very affordably online. Platforms like Coursera, edX, and even YouTube have amazing resources. But here's the secret sauce. Don't just learn, apply what you learn to real projects. Build a portfolio that showcases your skills. It's like having a secret weapon in the job hunt hunting game. Next is build a personal brand. And I cannot tell you how much of a cheat code this is. And no, this isn't becoming an influencer. Your personal brand is simply how you present yourself professionally. It's your reputation, your expertise, your unique value proposition. Start by defining what you want to be known for, then create content around that. It could be LinkedIn posts, a blog, or even a YouTube channel. One of my good friends, for instance, was able to get two different offers from fame companies just because of his YouTube channel. And consistency is key here. Share your knowledge, engage with others and watch your network grow. Remember, in a world of remote work, your personal brand can open doors you didn't even know existed. And building a personal brand is like networking, but on steroids, because everyone is coming to you and you're not having to go to them. Next, I want you to take action and embrace failure. And this is where the rubber meets the road. All the knowledge in the world won't help you if you don't take action. You need to set clear, actionable goals. Then you need to break them down into small steps. And most importantly, you need to start today, not tomorrow, not next week, today. But here's the plot twist. You will fail, and that's okay. In fact, it's necessary. Each failure is a lesson. Each setback is a setup for a comeback. When I started on YouTube, for instance, my first videos were terrible, but I kept going. I kept learning improving. And now, well, you're watching this, aren't you? Now, by the way, if you want to get started, but you're still not sure how to find your dream career, I did create a video that's basically the ultimate guide to finding your dream career. And you can check that out by clicking right here. 